Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies, it's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with the Hell Are We On Now at episode 15, episode 15 of Going Medieval. Uh, Going Medieval is a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. It's a lot like RimWorld if you've played that, Dwarf Fortress, Surviving Mars, stuff like that. And uh, we're playing in the Aber Wyvern Seed Aber Wyvern's a fictional community in Wales, popularized in David Macaulay's children's architecture illustrated illustrated architecture book uh, by the name of Castle, and an associated PBS show of the same name, an animated PBS uh, single episode show, which told the story of Aber Wyvern. So uh, things are looking a lot better. Um, I'm really, really happy. You know, I completely forgot where we left things, um, but I'm really, really happy with where things are now, and I think things are coming along fine. We're definitely going to have to do some mining. It's spring day one, so first and foremost, we're going to have to do some planting. Um, sun, I think, just came up at 7 in the morning, and uh, let's let's take care of that without... Uh, my phone's buzzing at me here. I'm going to silence, uh, silence the beast. Let's take care of that uh, right right away. So we'll plant, I don't know what we'll plant, doesn't really matter, I guess, you know what, let's just send out the farmers, send out the farmers to do the farming things. Definitely don't want to grow cabbages there, we need barley first and foremost, we're going to just, just mad stacks of barley, because we're, we're through our hay, right? Yeah, we're <laughs> pretty low on hay. Uh, that's okay. We won't run out of hay. Oh, no, no, no. That should not be a don't sow. That should be so don't sow. There we go. Is there, there's no way to copy and paste fields. Boy, that would be useful too, Foxy Voxel. Hey, if uh, the developers are watching, um, copy pasting fields, folks. I'd be ecstatic for that option. Okay, and we'll plant our cabbages over here. We'll plant our herbs over there. Of course, they're going to go out and be useless first with the trees now, aren't they? Is she actually going to go plant? Oh, she is going to plant the useful things first. Good. Okay, so they're not. Yeah, they're not planting. So these these are crop plots technically, um, but I think the trees. Yeah, trees are low priority to start. Where I've set the priority on these two, very high. Okay. So yeah, we left off. Um, we were chipping away quite literally, at this build. We got a lot of mining left to do, but we're getting there. Made it through the winter without any significant incident or casualties. Got a mostly full armory now. Towers are going to need a little bit of work, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so anyone who's not planting right now, is going to start mining, uh, with the exception of Alfred and Catherine, who are going to cook. So we'll put Hank on a mining, Andrew on mining. We'll take them off construction completely, and uh, Kevin can do animal husbandry and then mining. Mark can do animal husbandry and then mining. Miss it. We'll start mining. Osgar's planting, and Peter will start mining. I had them. Uh, I had them crafting. Stone blocks. Now, because because we actually did uh, construction work through the winter, we don't have the huge stockpile of stone blocks we might otherwise have. And I think I think I'm going to let them mine out this tunnel underneath. Um, I'm starting to starting to reflect that we may need to expand our underground storage a little bit, especially if there's a a harvest coming in. I'm also going to need to move my kitchen. This 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 is going to be the uh, the season of lowering the basement. Um, I actually I have in real life done a basement lowering. Um, it wasn't it wasn't by very much. It was by like a foot and a half. Um, but actually, it was a pretty intensive process. Just like I think I talked in one of my other videos about floating a house. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not a master carpenter or anything, but I I, I know my way around a saw. Um, floating a house to create open concept rooms by transferring structural support onto an, inter an internal beam. Um, just like that process, lowering a basement involved floating a beam 
uh, because there was a there was a pillar, um, like an, a, a metal pillar, steel uh, pillar in the center of the room, holding up part of the house structurally, and that had to go because we were lowering the floor. Um, it didn't. It wasn't something we wanted to jack. We so we changed the the load distribution in the house and put a new beam in the basement, steel beam, and um, yeah. We did, we did lower the floor, but I think it was, it was about a foot and a half in the end, a foot, foot and a half, somewhere in there. I'm going to make quite the difference. It went from being like a subterranean crawl space, like a like 19, 1920s era cellar um, with just like a washer dryer in it to being like a space that I think they renovated to, you know, probably put a rental unit in or something knowing this goddamn city. I, I didn't ask what they were doing. You never want to know. You never want to know. Someone's getting screwed somewhere, but as long as you're getting paid, right? Right? That's ethical. I'm in a housing kick right now. This is, uh, I'm, I am, I am, I am housed, but I'm on a, we have changes coming. I, I try not to get political at all in these streams, but we have changes coming to our housing industry here. We're adding one and a half million homes, one and a half million homes. You know, if you add one and a half million homes to an economy over 10 years, it makes all the homes worthless, right? And then big corporations can buy up all the homes and everybody who owns a home loses all their investment. And the big corporations then own everything. Smart, but evil. Smart, but evil. And then who says, no, we don't want 1.5 million homes. Sounds like a lunatic because there's a housing crisis. So of course we want 1.5 million homes, except no, we really, we really don't. We want affordable rental units. We should be like outpacing, we should be outpacing population growth by like 5% for housing. You know, everybody should have a house or not, a, 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 not a detached, everybody should have a home, but we should be open. Anyway, you know what? I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to call it there. Let's not, let's not go down this, this rabbit hole. Speaking of rabbit holes, is anyone going to go fucking dig? Seven in the morning. They must start now. They must start now. Okay. They're mining something else. Oh, they're mining this shit. Interesting. Okay, well, let's cancel that, shall we, guys? No! Did, like, all right, all right. Not that either. Astra the cat has died. I don't really care. <laughs> Dead cats. Uh, it sounds heartless, but it's so true. Wait. A cat and a dog died. A dog got killed by wolves. Did a cat wander over there? I bet you a cat wandered over there. I don't see a little cat corpse. Maybe they already got e eaten. <sighs> Maybe that was just bad timing. Not much I can do about that. I didn't even realize I had a dog, I'll be honest. Contest the dog? No clue uh, how I got a dog. Maybe I bought it from a merchant or something in one of the previous episodes. Okay, barley's going down. Spring day two. Oh, okay, they're mining up my dirt. That's interesting. I feel like, yeah, we're, we're getting the dirt. But let's, let's put a moratorium on the dirt mining too. And, um... That's good to know, though. I hope they I hope they haul that dirt in. I hope at some point that dirt gets hauled in so that we can start to build the growing plots outside the walls. Like, I want to replace this stone area here outside the wall and this, this useless rise that goes right up to the top of the map, this deceptively tall rise. Um, remove that down, what, two, three layers, I guess, and put in, put in dirt. That's the plan. Move that down three layers and put in dirt. They're now they're mining out this damn hallway. Yeah. Okay. These one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want any collapses from above. Is 
This is gonna be funny. Let's this this the the roof on these cellar rooms. This, this, I'm gonna wind up having to build a roof across it. This is gonna be the floor of the final keep, which is right at the level of these gates, which is where the actual gate will go in the end. Like this build all makes sense. Just I did it ass backwards. It will emerge out of the ground like like a statue emerging from carved stone, really. Like And I may fuck up. My big concern is that I will fuck up and have a structural issue which will cause a portion of the keep to collapse as I undermine it myself. Um, and it is something, you know, again, if there's if there's anyone who has the power to add things or change things to this game, paying attention to these these videos, I tell you, um, undermining was the single biggest threat. It was also like the single most common uh, offensive siege tactic. Um, you know, everybody tried ladders. Everybody tried battering rams. Everybody tried siege tower not everybody but you know siege towers were pretty commonly used but when when sieges were were uh successful when castles broke it was always because some genius undermined the wall and i feel like the ai doesn't interact with the terrain enough if the ai could um you know i want to reference it's that zombie game um Seven Days to Die. If the AI could interact with the terrain a little bit more like the Seven Days to Die zombies do, like aggressively damaged terrain, where they dig horizontally through it or dig down if they have no other forward path, or if it's, in fact, the path of least resistance by HP. Um, but I don't think terrain in this right now... Well, it does have hit points, and it's very high hit points on stone. What's dirt have? Dirt has 400 hit points. What's a stone wall have? Stone wall has... 800 interesting what's the door have 500 hmm so yeah i think i think that may be a feature that comes eventually actually now that i you know that i look at the fact that these have hit points and the wise man building his house upon the rock may in fact be onto something speaking of zombie games i think uh, i think i'm also going to add um state of decay to my uh, repertoire, my YouTube repertoire. I saw that go out a neato little update. Uh, that is truly one of my favorite uh, video games, uh, let alone survival. I, I like survival games, but I really, I really like survival community management games. If you haven't, if you haven't caught on yet, guys, and um, it's just so good. And it has uh, default non-binary. Everybody, everybody is non-binary default. It's really funny. Uh, I, I, I quite like. I have fond memories of that game. It's been. It's been since 2018 since I played it, uh, so it'll be good to go back and uh, take a look. Take a look at what's changed. Plus, it's got guns and driving, and um, but I do I do play it with an Xbox controller, so I don't I don't know how the format for that's going to go with um, with these these videos. Like you know, uh, if I if I move my microphone here and. And I'd be sitting back like this, playing. They say I, I, I look lazy. I feel lazy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sitting here with good, good, good posture, um, or standing. You know. And again, I'm not going to use a controller standing. I don't think so. We'll see. Um, normally, I play uh, play that game, State of Decay Two. State of Decay Two. I should clarify. Um, on my couch, I normally like put it on the TV and sit on the couch, the controller, and but okay. Just keep things going along here. We're on spring day three. How much of her plant is done? Not enough. She got, well, actually a lot. She got most of it done. I really need her to get the, uh, it's my, it's my cuckoo's. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to run low on food there. Okay. Research crossbows, but crossbows are useless without weapons and I think I think the infirmary beds is even a better idea for me right now I can level to 42 in mining that's good yeah Cartography would be useful too. 
One of my characters is researching. Still, I see that number ticking up. Oh, Johanna's researching. I forgot that she could do that. That's cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her continue doing that. That is actually very good. I guess that's one of the real advantages. It's more food, but the real advantage to having a big community is there are more people who can do things at any given time. Normally, we wouldn't be doing research in the winter. Um, but she's there in the library, and she's putting in the work. I also need to uh, expand the library a little bit here um, by flooring it properly. And then have her transition over to... Oh, it's actually under... It's indoors, or it's outdoors, because we're missing wall. Um, have her transition over to um, the words escape me, but they won't for long. What do I need her to do? Uh, have her transition over to the tier three uh, research. She's probably actually, if I have the option to learn it. No, I've already learned research three. I just haven't built the bench for it. That's a tough call. It's a real tough call. The infirmary bed's the most expensive. Let's do that first. Okay. We'll turn we'll turn one of these these towers into. Is it actually a separate item? I wonder. I think it is. I guess that would make some sense. It's not like uh, Rimworld where you can. Oh, it even looks different. Yeah. It's just weird. A bed is a bed. But in, in Rimworld, you just change the type of bed. Like, oh, this is an infirmary now. Like, but whatever. Okay, they're working away at expanding these underground rooms. How's our hay pile going? Not, not good at all now. Animals are going to get hungry. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. That we need. So let's take them off growing. I really hope they got time to get the... Barley all planted at least. They... Mostly. Mostly. So I'm sending them, I'm sending them like rushing off to get that, uh, those berries because um, I haven't had those berries yet and planting them like in rows out here is gonna is gonna dramatically increase um their availability they're a good all season food you know like like i'm waiting for the grass the hay right now um berries are uh multi-seasonal so i think they're ready in in each see there's there's some hay there now it's just coming in um but they're they're ready in each season so like four crops a year there's more over here yeah that's those weren't there last season so let's let's get them while we can and we've got some mushrooms up, up here mushrooms i don't think you can plant which is kind of too bad i guess you'd you'd have to grow them in the subterrain or something like they're yeah wonderful There's no reason why I shouldn't clear the entire interior of the courtyard now. Down one level. 
this season. Mm, somebody sitting at home just shaking their head, being like, "What a moron! How did he? How did he fuck that up?" I don't. I don't know, guys. I don't know how I fucked that up. I just didn't. I just didn't check. I just didn't check. And you gotta. You gotta check sometimes. Went back and, and watched watched my video. The, uh, <laughs> the video after I figured out my mistake, I was I was salty. So like, I was quiet the entire episode. Like. Do they start picking berries? Does not look like it. Doesn't look like it. Hmm, I'm missing a floor piece. Wonder how that happened. Okay. So, I'm also going to need to lower these floors by one full tier, and that they're full of uh, construction stuff right now. So that'll be that'll be interesting. Plus, they're supporting the floor above them on these pillars, um, at least partially. You know, those those pillars aren't fully load bearing. I can remove, you know, two of them. I think you can remove four of them, put one in the middle, maybe. That's that's what we're going to have to do. Okay. 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 Good, very good. I don't know where to build the uh, the Oak Brethren Temple. I think I've got one or two Oak Brethren now. And I know I have one for sure, but I guess I should give them some religious representation. It certainly doesn't get pride of place in the in the keep. We're a we're a Christian community here, um, we're a restitutionist community here. But um, if if uh, I'm not gonna do it on this episode, but if y'all have any idea where I should put the Oak Brethren altar, are they altars? Chapel? Oak Brethren. What is a chapel? Shrine. The Oak Brethren Shrine. Um, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Oh, God, we got a lot of apple trees coming in. We got, a, we got a whole ass orchard here. I didn't even have to plant any of them. I think I, think I planted just that one. And they kind of they just kind of spread. They're like going medieval herpes. Apple trees everywhere. Not that I have any personal frame of reference there, just want to make that clear.
yeah, I, I, I kind of really like this castle design. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I need to, uh, to make more blocks and then start to lay out the outer wards. And we'll need to move dirt. Again, I just keep putting off the dirt, the earth moving. Our, I mean, our fields are producing, right? I don't feel the need to interfere with this process over here. And that'll be the last thing I do is dig up all the dirt over here and move it over and put it in the, put it in its final position. Sort of don't have any tasks right now for me. Just waiting for the digging. Did they finish the underground? Not quite. But that actually worked out pretty good. The, the layout is just fantastic. And I do think, I do think I'm going to be removing this. This is going to be the... Hmm, will I remove it? Yeah, I think I will be removing the stairwell down. They've got so much faster at mining. <laughs> this is like now we now we're playing Dwarf Fortress. Everybody can mine. How are we doing on foodstuffs here? Not good, actually, surprisingly. Low. How is the animals doing on foodstuffs? Very low. Okay, let's not harvest, let's cut. Let's not harvest, let's cut. Did, did they, what, what did they bring in? I gave them an order to gather. Mark, where's he going to harvest? No, okay, he's harvesting. Who are my... Oh, maybe I didn't give them an order to do something. I thought I did. Harvest. Yeah, there's harvesters. Catherine and Oscar are supposed to be. Why are they not? I guess they're hauling. Okay, that should get them doing the right thing. They didn't bring in a single berry. Those crops are almost ready. In two days, yeah. How many herb seeds do I have? I have a lot of herbs, but I want to make sure I've got enough seeds to just keep that going. 51, yeah, we're doing great. Settlers are unhappy. He's exhausted. Okay, that's fine. Research available. Let's take the cartography bench. It's pretty big, eh? Yeah. Does it fit in our library anywhere? 
I guess it will fit in the middle. That's kind of a weird place for it. Oh! <gasps> we had a collapse. We had a structural failure in the library for some reason. Which shouldn't have happened. There's no reason that should have happened. Do we have any collapses further? We did. It goes all the way. It goes up on both sides. Oh. Well, that's... And we lost our chapel. That's not fucking ideal, but can I... What should be stable? Can't place this far from a stable structure. Interesting. So I really will need to... How do we resolve this issue? Okay, hang on. Let's do some engineering for seconds. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's say the rooms are thirteen units long. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's let's make them their full length because I'm going to mine that out. Okay. So if I put, yeah, that makes sense. Two, three. Yeah, one. Two, three. So we've got one there. Two, three. One, two, three. And leaves a space of two. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll do that on each side. You know, it's not it's not perfect, and that's subject to change, but that's gonna make these rooms a lot stronger for the moment. Oops, that doesn't belong there. Belongs inside the walls. There we go. Yeah, so that fits around the existing pillars. We're, we're going to move everything in those. Just the, the, like the great hall is going in one of these two sides. Um, but that'll support my floors, at least for the moment. Okay, who is getting bounced over to construction? Alfred's very, very unhappy now. Really hope he doesn't quit. That would be so sad. Andrew's unhappy too. Why are these guys so unhappy? Ravenous? Are they starving? Or are they just overworked? No, they're not starving. Desperately thirsty, lacking entertainment. Okay, let's have these construction folks. Shift to tasks here. Are people stuck? Is he st- oh, he's fucking stuck. Okay, his unhappiness makes sense. Is Andrew? No, Alfred is able to reach a bed, but he didn't. He just passed out. I guess he must have been stuck. That must have been what happened. Okay, Andrew. Yeah, there's not really a quick way out for you, bud. Shouldn't be that, I guess he's working pretty hard, but he shouldn't be that tired.
She's still fucking starving. Oh boy, that's not ideal, eh? Huh. Um, I have them blast through the wall here. For now. Okay. Okay, their moods balanced out immediately. <laughs> they were just, yeah, they were just kind of like, we have amenities, we're like, and the only thing we don't have is like a lot of entertainment tables. Should probably put some up on the wall walks here, to be honest. There's no reason not to. This game does need a whole entertainment update when I click on leisure. There's three different types of leisure. That's, you know, there should be like a tournament ground or somewhere they can like raise their skills while fighting. He's got that in uh, Crusader Kings, which I which I have yet to you have yet to even install. I, I I bought it, but I haven't I haven't installed it. I got a a uh, I've been busy <laughs> busy too busy. But I really want I really want to get back to my uh, my Safford Empire playthrough. That's just I might go fuck with that after this. Okay, let's patch the holes in the floors, shall we? Okay, it was just the one hole? Yeah, just the one hole. It's crenellating the roof, that's fantastic, that'll look great. Fix the roof. What? How is the stability on the roof affected if the pillar, or the, uh, did they not build them yet? The arches? They haven't built all of them yet. Okay, that's, they built the arches and they built builds. No, they haven't. Okay. So I'll wait, I'll wait for them to build those archways before I try fixing the floor. Yeah, these upper level collapses are just going to be a constant issue. At least nothing that, like, the, the racks didn't get destroyed or anything, you know. Could have been way worse. Okay. I guess blacksmith thing is next, but I don't. Let's do food preserving. I don't. I don't want to cite a blacksmith in this keep until I've got the interior uh, ward, the the you know, inside the inner curtain. I want that as low as it goes. And there is going to be an outer curtain wall. It won't. It won't go all the way up here because if you check the terrain, like the edge of the terrain is there. So I can't. I can't really. I think I could, but it would look shitty. I think. Actually, it might look okay, but no, I'm not, I'm not going to put a wall up there. It's probably going to come off the back two towers and I'm down to about here, um, maybe with the corner square towers, and that will encompass um, some outer buildings, like an apothecary and a brewery, um, you know, and some cosmetic, more cosmetic shit, but definitely farmland. There will be farmland in within the outer ward. Not a lot, but enough for like a big herb garden. 
Probably a, the livestock pen too. <laughs> Look at my ass. Isn't my ass nice? I have a nice ass. I need to get another cow, is what I need. I need an animal merchant to come along with, with, uh, things for me. I think I'm just gonna do, like, a, <laughs> a Christmas pig slaughter this year. You know, in winter. We'll go up on the wall with some bows and shoot the pigs off the walls. Kevin's helmet decayed. Oh yeah, they're finishing this up nicely. Looks really good. Came up better than I expected, to be honest. When I was upset about my screw up. Need to patch these holes in the roof. Okay. So now it's only a matter of time before, yeah, everything's patched soon. Yeah, that's good. So that can go. What in the shit? Why was that? Why was that a critical support? Not even reflected in the design game. Come on. This is where I started to get confused and lost. It's like silly. I bet now she can't access her bed either because. Oh, let's see, that can be accessed, but why is that too far from a stable structure? Interesting. If I just put a. Do these rooms all have that space? They do. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do that. Each room gets an arch. It's a small price to pay for being able to. Yeah, this, this one has the same hole too. Okay. I must have. Somehow missed that. That's still too far from a stable. This makes no sense, game. This makes no sense. You're, you're actually, like, hard trolling me here. No, it doesn't make any sense. They should... They're identical. They're identical. It either fits or it doesn't. So is there something I did different on that side? No, there's definitely nothing I did different on that side. It's the same. Is there something missing from the foundation that I'm... No, it's the same. It's, that's... That's epically annoying. I'm just... I'm gonna throw that out there. It seems like a... Major issue. TBH. That didn't destroy anything, no? Okay. Infuriating. I can put another arch over the beds, I guess. That's not going to look so good. Seems like cope. Now I can at least put a floor on it, though. That's weird. Definitely a bug.
Okay. Put the big old advanced research table down here somewhere. Well, it's three wide, eh? Okay. Wasn't really a good way to center it. These, yeah, I'm going to say those are probably pretty structural. I wish they weren't. Maybe they aren't. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. That's tempting. To create a structural transfer like that. It's still three units, but... You'll see. Okay, that kept its shape. Floor didn't collapse. In fact, I'm not even so sure those interior load-bearing... The columns are at the front are load-bearing. They, they don't seem to be necessary. But, uh... But we'll, 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 we'll keep them there for now. I'll figure out the optimum. I'm going to move that brace here into the corner. Put a couple bookshelves there. And a bookshelf there. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, they need uh, mechanical components to build that bench. Okay. What's Osgard doing? He should be hauling. Okay, her room got fixed. Great. Okay, so I guess that means we're going to need to produce some mechanical components. See how far off blacksmithing am I? Okay, we need to get 30. All right. This food's going to be bad if I leave it out there. Fuck up everybody's schedule to bring in the first her 
harvest. Okay, and then uh, make sure everybody who needs to be is on mining. She can go back to cooking. I like how it takes longer every time to autosave. It's noticeable. The facility, the castle itself is getting bigger, so. Um, Missa will go to mining. Oscar will go to growing and harvesting number two. And Peter will go to mining. Most of the animal husbandry people should be mining when they can. So yeah, we're we're definitely getting through the mining here. It's almost it's almost cleared out. Um, of course, the entire courtyard in the next episode uh, is going to go down yet one more level, um, which will bring us to our final grade. But and that will look that will look damn impressive. That will and that'll there'll be enough space in there for you know I want I want to build suspended rooms against these walls, but I can't when they're only, you know, one unit tall. And those rooms will contain, you know, crafting areas for the blacksmithing, probably. Okay, let's destroy that. Okay, he's moving the brewery. Let's get that brewing station set up to produce beer until you have, um, how many does it take? takes a lot, doesn't it? It takes... 20 barley makes 10 beer. So... Just work until we've got 20 beer. Get a little bit of constant drain there, but we're gonna, we're gonna get more barley soon. And you see he'll wind up planting that field, although... That'll be weird. Let's not let's not plant a barley crop there. This this crop. Animals are hungry. What all the animals are starving. Okay. Now we're in crisis mode. I mean I probably could have staved off the bleed by proactively killing a bunch of the animals. Um but since I Oh my god, look at this massive hay over here. Okay, well, we're good. We're good. I just need to uh, take some of the miners off to cut plants. You know what, actually, there's no reason I don't put them except, yeah, but, okay, is anyone else? Okay.
That should go pretty fucking fast. There's a booming pig population there. They're eating too much. And we've got just a god awful amount of sheep, looks like. Goats? We've got, we got a bunch of goats, but sheep look to be the. And that's good. We're, we definitely want <laughs> 13, 1300 wool. Maybe we've got too much wool. Maybe it's time, to, maybe it's time for a gull. Even if we call them, I don't know if we've got enough space to process all those carcasses. Or to store the meat, for that matter. That'll be dicey. That'll be dicey for sure. How much iron do I have? I'm also going to need lots of iron. Boku iron. Okay, we're going to need doors. Okay, they already cut all that hay. I don't... I should check. I don't know who's actually primed to haul. Cut plants. One... Alfred will haul once he's finished cutting. Getting resources, getting resources. Andrew and Catherine. Andrew's constructing. Catherine is cooking. We'll have to we'll have to wait until the sun comes up to see who is mining or uh, hauling. Who is hauling? Catherine's building doors for the fuck of it, because that's her job. That's definitely her job. Did I fuck that up? No, she's construct five. I don't know why she's building. Is she unable to cook for some reason? Are we out of all food? My cow starved. Well, that's one way to reduce the population. Unfortunately, the population of cows was one. And I'm probably not going to get an opportunity to get another cow for a while. And that, that was a source of milk. I needed a female cow to, to breed. Like, Yeah, I need them all to haul. So stewarding first, because it's in priority ahead of haul. Probably gonna lose another couple animals. Whatever, it's meat. We're gonna make sure all the braziers are topped up and the torches are lit and the candles are going and that's that's okay, I guess. It's important to have those things. These probably can delete. Somehow I have low health ice blocks sitting on 
That should be in the kitchen area. Okay. We got a little more hay. We got a little more hay. The animals are eating. All right. They're going to haul it all in now. Good. We're going to have a couple hundred hay. We're definitely going to have to get two hay crops out this uh, this summer out of the barley. And he was unconscious, hey? Hmm, that's not good. Yeah, we're going to have to get the, the barley crop in this summer twice and then make animal fodder to maximize our... Because we've got so much goddamn cabbage. There's no reason we don't turn the cabbage into... Eat the meat and the apples and the dairy and turn the cabbage and the barley into... Or the cabbage and the hay, rather, into animal feed. You should also start thinking about Sally Port on this side so they can get out and access the field easier. It becomes a weak point in your wall. Um, you know, the enemy won't pathfind through these doors if there's an easier door over here. Um, but there are clever ways to manage that. Kind of like a drawbridge. Which, again, this game really needs... If we have enemies who can pathfind their way through or over things, um, you know, ladders to climb walls or, or undermining, um, we should have drawbridges to cut off access, uh, especially if we get water and moats, flaxy voxel, water and moats, when? Question mark. Apparently it's not as easy as it sounds. That's what they're saying. They're like, it's like the hardest feature we could add. I understand. I get that. I think I, I get the impression that they want to try that. Okay, we got 712 hay now. Wow, that cow died. That cow died for nothing. That guy was like the guy was like the last guy who got shot in World War One, like sitting there looking at his watch, and he gets shot like a minute before, and like last casualty of the war, he died for nothing. Um, that cow, just a waste. Just such a tragic, tragic waste. Rip. Okay, um, but we are at the end of the episode, so that is in fact all for me for now. This is Postmodern Cowboy playing. Going Medieval, the community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you do not like watching me play these games, please also let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>